Hey guys, it's uh, GTIZ Lot coming at you with another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. Now this is on the Geek Tech Industry server. Um, I forget what episode this is. I think it's 24. I'm going to say 24. Um, I'm probably wrong. Now this is just overlooking the uh, just a little lookout room that um, it's just a connector hall. This is probably going to get torn down. This little wooden. Um, it was just I just jerry rigged it up just to uh, to give it a, a covered patio to get to the other elevator shaft. Okay, so. Last episode, we did a bunch of work on the roofing structure to figure out the system over on the main building. And then we did a little bit of, we dabbled on the pinnacle. Uh, we did the great hall roof. Um, so I did a bunch more texture and I finished off the roof of the other building. I'm going to show you. You can see there, I finished it off. I pulled the that one originally was over too far and I had to move it over this way because of the other side. So let's, and you can see here, I am working on the pinnacle and it's starting to take shape here. Um, I really need to get that all sealed in. This is a, a large glass project and it's, oh my God, glass is really tricky to work with, believe it or not. It does not have the greatest structural integrity. Um, I'm trying to keep it all together from collapsing. Uh, it's very, very difficult. I've lost very, probably three or 400 panes of glass, just trying to get it to this point, figuring out a system that works to hold it up. And this, unfortunately is the system here uh and that's really what i want to work on today i can we can go let's go take a look at the stuff what i've done inside really quick um so i just quickly threw these stairs up here an entry door i haven't done much in this building yet uh this goes into the grand hall which is nothing done to it yet right just the there's an elevator going up to the ceiling. I've started texture. There was texturing going on upstairs, which obviously bled right through. Not a big deal. I haven't done anything with this huge thing yet. I'm going to, my plan is at the same level as the greater house, um, there's going to be a mezzanine that wraps around uh, fairly narrow. I, I think only like three blocks wide maybe maybe four we'll see we'll see how much i want enough of a big open space going up so that i think it's going to be three wide anyway a mezzanine and it's going to be multi-level joining up with the other levels of the of the uh greater house here so here's what a typical hallway is going to look like um i like it it looks pretty good. I could mess around with the ceiling texture. Um, I was thinking of doing a similar texture what I have in my my living room on the pinnacle, which I haven't decoed up at all yet. It's just been painted and carpeted. It's basically in this condition what this hallway is. It's it's ready for deco, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna poke um verandas out with doorways and windows on this side yet because it's going to be i think i will anyway uh it's going to be covered by glass hopefully anyway let's whoa 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 okay now i'm all disorientated which way is which way did we let's go this way. <laughs> stupid game uh let's run because it's a long haul Okay, get down to the end here. I haven't really done much over here. I've, now this, I'm not gonna poke through. This is gonna be like a utility room for the back of the building here. This connects up with the wall. So this connects up with the little wall connector here. 
No critters about. No. No. Okay. So that is sort of. I'm gonna bring the. Here, I'll show you the other side. Let me. Let me keep moving through this thing. Sort of expansive. Okay, so we get up to the second level. I haven't done anything with this call hallway yet. So everything on this side of the building, which is the east side, is actually going to be a common hall. I know it's pretty huge, but it's also going to be a massive lounge areas. If you've ever seen how castles are built before, they do have a a massive common hall that connects everything with with like lounge area in the hall itself where people congregate and um, and visit and stuff like that and then there the rooms themselves are just basically bedrooms uh, oh actually let's keep going let's just go right up to the top so I've I've got this hallway ready for deco as you can see this is the attic hall, but it still has rooms because it is it is in the castle after all and and quite spacious even though it's an attic. Um, check the view out. So I've got the I've got the patios coming down each floor and out I think let's drone it up I think I'm actually got a bunch of windows to do still I do so that's sort of what it's looking like from the side um, eh, I know it's kind of plain looking but really it's just at this point I just want to get this up and done it's already starting to play havoc with my RAM because of the the size of the building itself. Uh, it, other people are going to have a difficulties if they don't have like 16 gig of, of RAM in their computer coming to visit this place, let me tell you. Because it eat, eats up right now like 8 gig being in this freaking location. Okay. Having said that, let's poke some windows in here. Here and we go. Now it's that one on that side. And get this in. Okay. Next one. Oh, actually, I should paint them as I do them. That way I don't have to do them later. I'll just queue up the right color. Good. And then we just. Zap and place and zap, and then we are done that side. Okay, let's do this side, and we zap. Come on, zap, place, and paint, and Zap, place, and paint. And the other side, and then we'll be done those windows. And zap, come on, zap, and place, and paint. And one more. Last one. Okay, so zap and place and paint. There we go. Let's take a look. Oops, missed a window. Let's do that. And get that in there and paint. Okay, now let's take a look. Looking for textures that aren't done, any painting that's not done. 
Okay. I think that face side is now done. Good enough. I'm <laughs> it's way overkill anyway. I'll, once I build this building, I'll probably never go into it. Whoa. <sighs> I'm glad I got railings up and was. I have yet to kill myself by falling off the building. Now I've jinxed myself. Let's knock on wood. Knock my head against the wood here. One, two, three. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is deco ready at this point. I don't need to throw up any more light. Oh, you know what? No, actually this side needs a shit ton of walls, right? Okay. So, because there's no other exits or entrances there, this is going to be one big squeeze. So the corner units potentially are going to be quite nice. What we want to do is measure halfway between the doors and put a wall up. And I think, unfortunately, we've got an even amount. Is that correct? One two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Oh, right. I counted this out. I made, I did this on purpose so that I wouldn't get all screwed. Okay. So let's get some walls up. Now I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to poke out certain blocks and put in regular cubes. So we'll get there. Get my wood. We'll drone it up. Much easier to do as a drone. And get the wood blocks. So that was one, two, three. And the fourth one is the wall block. Okay. So let's get this up as high as it'll go. And then we'll... Now, there's not going to be a door in this wall. These are, oops, don't want to poke it through like that. Although, no, I guess it won't because I got to zap those blocks. Okay, so let's zap these blocks. And then just put a regular block in. And that seals that off. Oops, gotta redo that. Bad aim. And let's fix that. So we want the corner piece. And like that. Or no, what am I doing? Like that. And there we go. Okay. Now let's be a little bit more careful. I'll texture that after. So let's try just getting that one. And go back to regular block. Okay. And then, come on. That one. Block, and you can see how repetitive building a building like this is. Uh, certain tasks are just like do over and over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, so that's going to require one there. So go like that, and that's it. Okay. So that should be okay from the outside. There should be no, no visible anything. Okay, and then I guess we paint it and, and done, really, right? And that's a room ready for deco. So this is the semi-light brown, which goes really dark on this wood. Um, I like it. I like it. It doesn't, it's not, the, the next step up 
kind of looks like cherry wood. This this just looks like dark pine, like stained pine. <laughs> I mean it. Yeah. Anyway, and that's basically what it is. Realistically, I chopped all those pine trees down to, to build this. So, oh, you know what? I did not apply it a whole block, so that's not going to show up on the other side. Let's just do it really quick. And because I can't see what I'm doing, because I've already colored the side, I have no idea if it's actually working. I guess we'll see on the other side. And da, get that, get that, cover that, get that, and that, and that, and okay. Inviso painting. It's a thing. One, two, three, four. Get these in. And one more. Okay, pop this out. Get this in. one okay not bad not bad get it painted so apply the whole block okay so this time it will for sure saturate through and I don't really care if I hit the ceiling because the texture that that's that, that uh, roof tile um cannot be painted so the roof tile even if i painted all the way through and colored that section to be brown the the roof tile still show through because it doesn't accept paint okay that's done that's done next so that just overlooks the courtyard or no that that's the these are the ones that go in the courtyard yeah coming along it's coming along and it'll get there I had to do something really funky with the angles and I'll show you that probably um, pretty quick I just wanted to throw up a couple of these and you know what the rest we're gonna do off camera I just wanted to show you how it's going on this section so we're getting close to having it um, painted and textured um, and then we'll have a bunch of deco episodes really is basically I'm gonna have so much deco to apply I'm getting scared because of the because of how much RAM it actually was drawing it's not so bad once it's all loaded in the RAM because I because I actually have plenty of RAM on my computer it's just it's just getting it loaded it kind of chugs out but you can see once it's loaded I'm okay right now right so um let's go work on the glass structure now i think so let's jump out here and let's jump down we'll run over here so it's been really tricky and i'm i Got a bunch of floating, spiraling dirt going up. You can't really see it yet. I'm going to highlight it with flares. And let's try that. Let's do that right now. Let's let's work on these flares and see, see what we can do with that. 
So my idea is if I put up a, well, oh, come on drone. If I put up a flare facing them, so let's load, I've got 30 flares here. Um, put my concrete down for a second. What I'm thinking is if I, if I can put it facing that way, or sorry, see how it's going to touch there? It's going to connect the, now I could put one there, I guess, but then I won't be able to put one on the other side. And what I mean by the other side is I think Oh, it's not going to, oh, I can't. Oh, yes, it will. Can I do it there? What if I, what if I fandangle some lighting? Let's, let's try being tricky. Let's try being tricky because it won't go on something unless there's a back to it. So let's try this. <laughs> And then, and then we'll put up a flare here. Okay. And then, oh, actually, I want to color that right now. Um, and this is going to be blue. Um, come on. P. Why is it not going into the flare? Can I not? Really? Why is it going into Builder? It's not going into the flare now. Why is that? So those are the red ones that I've got over there. I guess I'll, I'll just look for, maybe is it on the very bottom here? Can I just... Really? Is it like one of these? No, red, red. Red, red, red. Oh, come on. Okay, let's close this and reopen it. Let's try, what if I go there and I get a flare? That's not what I'm, that's because what I had before. Okay, so am I too close? Oh, I'm probably too close. That's what it is. That's what it is. There we go. Okay, uh, let's, is it a dark blue that I want? Flares don't give off any light by the look of it, right? So I need flares just floating around on their own. What happens if I, because it's got a block above it, what happens if I actually nuke this out? Yeah, it stays. So I could, I guess, yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like flares produce any light. They just have a flare, a light flare themselves when you look at it. Okay, so... Hmm. It's not really what I was trying for. But if I, I could probably put another one on its back, right, against it. No? Will it let me do that? No? No. Here I'm trying to I'm trying to trick a flare. And I'm failing. Really? But it's I should be able to like target its back, right? Come on. Really? Oh really you gotta make me target a full block and then it's puts it on the solid surface. So I can't do this. Damn it! <sighs> Okay, so I, do I just... I don't know now. Let's get rid of this. Do I 
just put a bunch of flares on the frickin' towers, spir spiraling down. Oh, that's really lame. Let's try it. Blue. Uh, so we do it where there's dirt. Then is that the rule? Let's let's try it. that one's right there so let's try it here is it gonna show up though it's too buried although you see it from the side I don't want to nuke that piece of dirt <laughs> it's hard to get little slivers of dirt believe it or not okay uh, up above it. Be nice if they remembered what you set the last one to, and just and just did it, right? One there. I don't know. I'm just kind of grasping at straws here. I'm trying to work with within the constraints of what. Okay. And then. One there, because you won't see it, it's buried. I can put it there. I don't know, I'm really kind of... I'm really making it up here. Put one there, and then bring this one down to... Uh, same level. I don't want to nuke that dirt either. What if I do it just below? No. What if I do it there in the dirt a little bit? No, can't see it at all. Um, Underneath. This really needs to go there, or can I do things on, oh, I can. Huh. So I can go like that. Maybe. I don't know, folks. It's you guys probably have a billion ideas better than I do, and if if you've got if you can think of something, you kind of see what I'm going for: a spiraling, windy look. Do I just hang flares all over the frickin' place? Is that what I do, or lights? Let's try some lights. What have we got for lights? Little pin lights, right? Can't we do little lights? No. We could get creative. Not centered. Hmm. What about, what about, yeah, 
Ah, this might work. There we go. That's the look I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay, these flares are gone. Or, right, you know what? I'll just... Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> bye, bye, flare. Okay. It was lights that I needed, not flares, but lights. And those, those. I don't think I've used these ones before. They're fairly new, aren't they? One of the more recent updates. Ah, oh, sweet! I can do this with lights. Okay, so I want to make sure. Keep the height thing going on. I really like that they stick out like that too. And then, see, I should have one here, but it's going to be buried. Fill the base. Fill the base, it says. Oh, you know why? I bet you there's a freaking, there's a flare in there. I don't know how to get it now without nuking the. Okay, so let's nuke this. Because the flares just aren't doing it for me. The flares are not doing it for me. But I like these light posts or poles or whatever the hell you want to call them. And and they emit light and they're a nice strong blue. It lights up the it lights up the actual dirt, right? Right? That's what I'm trying for. Now, do I do, do, do I do a sweeping pattern of three? Or like mix it up and have that coming out there? Oh, okay. let's get rid of these frickin' flares. They're in the way, in the way. Let's get rid of all these flares. Okay, can we put any anywhere else? I guess we'll find out when we start placing these. So if I... No, well, don't want it even. So if it, if it's going to be even, so do I stick that? Come on, why? Why can't I do it there? There's a flare in there. There's a flare in there. Really? Oh, damn it! I need this spot. Come on, where's the flare? There it is. I had to nuke the whole thing to get the flare. Great. Uh, um, so should I put the poles up and then, and then pull the dirt around and zap it a bit to make... So that... So that it's more consistent. Let's try that. You know, art is a flowing thing, not necessarily static, right? So, not that this is art, far from it. This is just some hack job playing a video game. Um, I think I can lower this one. Should I lower that one? No. Do I? I stick this out here now, like this. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and then, 
And then we do something like... On that side? And then... Oh, no, we don't, because that's so low. So... Let's take that down. Um... I want it to look like it's kind of spiraling, right? So if I stick another one there. And it's it the great thing about lights is even if they're buried, their light shines through the object that it's buried in to show on a surface. The next surface, so aka these rocks, get lit up by it. So, I just need, I need to light up that rock somehow. So if I stick one here, it'll light that rock up. Enough? I'm not sure. Oh, this works way better. Now I can leave chunkier rocks. So, if I go like... This here, we got to texture this, or sorry, paint this, paint, that's a paint, uh, is it this one, nope, or is it, no, uh, this one. Uh, let's keep doing this. It's looking like this is how I'm going to be doing this is with these, with these light poles. We don't have a lot of blocks to play with, right? So, oh, and that must be where another, okay, well, I gotta, do I, do I have to, or can I drop that down one? Can I stick it out the side instead? Stick it out the side and then have this one here. Nope, that was too high. So that one should go there. And then we should have one. We should have one against this wall. There, and then we not nuke this one. Okay. And then we need some way of showing those rocks. So this ain't working there. This has to come around. So, okay. Let's pop that off there. We'll stick it. Stick it up against here. Let's, I mean, really what I should do, I guess, is fill that whole thing in. Huh. Jeez, mate, that just, should I just fill this right in with concrete and texture the whole thing? So you can't even see the elevator. And then I can I can put lights around the whole thing. I've got enough stone uh, dirt out here now that I can pull it around to where I need. Let's see, let's see. Let's let's throw some let's do it from here where we've got some some dirt and stuff. We can start it here. These are strong enough to place these. Let's do this. Let's let's try this. Um, it'll create a little bit of havoc upstairs with the with the work that I've already done, but not a big deal really. Meh. I can always fix what I've done. So let's put that in. We'll put put a bunch of these in on this side just to just to 
and then I'll texture it and paint it just to, to see what it would look like if that's oh come on eat your veggies <sighs> Okay, and then, come on, thank you. So let's put some more in. It's funny, I still get vertigo even with the drone in, um, at elevation. And, oh, ran out of blocks. Uh, I want to get some more in there because I, I want to see what it looks like all the way down, really. So let's, let's do that. And that looks like as far as it's gonna come down. We'll just continue that down. Okay, and then we'll texture that up. And that is that. That's the one that has these little glowy slots to them. It looks like, it looks like it's metal. I think you can put it on any surface that accepts a texture. So we'll get this textured up really quick here. Oops. It's okay if I hit the inside of the other ones, it's not a big deal. Okay, so now we've got that textured. We need to change it to blue. And is it, it was this blue, right? Yeah. Okay. And then... So I don't know if these are bright enough. Do we like crank the intensity? No, come on. Oh, I'm probably, am I too close again? Really? Yeah. So let's do the range and the intensity. See what happens. Oh, that's like fog. <laughs> Hey, a fog machine! I've never, I've never done that to a light crank it right up, range and intensity. Okay. Uh, um. Okay, the intensity, it's got to come down. I think we can. I think we want the range though. So the intensity, let's back that down two and take a look I think that's what it was was two so we've got some shadowing from that that's kind of could be potentially trippy okay and actually that shadowing will probably go away when I crank the range on this one and I'm probably too close Wait. Is that this one? It didn't seem to have any new settings. It seemed to be there. That was weird. Okay. So it went down in intensity. I don't know why it does that. It turns its intensity down when you crank it up crank up the range. So there we go. We got some bizarroness going on. Uh, so okay. Okay. Did this not Okay, so do we try it just more intense? More intense. Three. Oh, 
Well, that's weird. It washed... Wait. No, that was this one. Why is it doing that? <sighs> Ooh. Obviously, I'm not targeting it properly. Okay. So, no. Three washes out. So, 20 meter by two intensity. Sure. I think we want to remove the range off it. It's it's washing the rest of this out. I think the intensity is fine. You know what? Maybe we got to do the reverse. Maybe we got to go no range and max intensity. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, so no range, maximum intensity. Hmm. And we, we, we localize the foggy look. Although, do I look the, do I like the look of the elevator? Or do I like complete flatness of that look. You know what? I kind of like the elevator better. I know this one will be easier to um, work with when it comes to like putting the lights and stuff. Let's see. Let's See, because then I can go here, and then I go down. This would go there. And then this would go there. Now that should have, lights seem to remember when you, what setting they were at when you uh, did them. Let's see if it still does. No. Okay, so, so we're going with short range and max intensity, right? That washes that out. It does create a spiral effect though. Well, regardless of the range and intensity at this point, it's definitely these light poles that I'm gonna be using. I, I, I do think we can get the rocks, the floating rocks to work. I think I just need to get more of it up there. and do a less gradual spiral, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Definitely these, these light poles are the things to use though in this, for this situation, for what I have to work with anyway. because they shed light, you can change the range and intensity, they stick out. So then I can, see so I can match this up to do the same thing there and then match that up.
with the dirt floating around. Actually, yeah, that's actually, see that? That's, that is getting the effect that I want. It is actually getting the effect I want. See that? The, the floating stone lit up by the lights. Okay, that is the wrong color. And then that'll be this whole area. Well, actually this will only be encased to glass right up to here. And then this is gonna be all flat, a flat face to it. And then another tapered section. So a long one going all the way in and connecting up with it. Another long structure, kind of a, a duplicate of this one beside it, but made out of glass and a little bit smaller <laughs> and shorter. <laughs> And, and okay, so not the same. Whatever. So how's that looking? See, I like that. I like the fact that that texture glows like that. So I got to get that all done. I do actually kind of like the elevator look. And I think we can play with that light too, maybe? Maybe? Oh, maybe not, because that... That was painted blue and those are painted gray. So, but the light is white. But I think I should paint it all blue. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go with the, with the solid ones. It just, I like the look of the elevator to tell you the truth. And it kind of adds a freakiness factor to it while you're going up and down the elevator, which, which I want, I want your stomach to have butterflies when you go up into this fricking pinnacle. And I did a certain thing to it to make it do just that too. Um, and I think we'll go, I'll go show it to you right now. Let me just zap this off. We'll finish off the episode with me climbing up into the pinnacle here and show you what we've done. Okay. Yeah, I definitely like the, the lights of the, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, you know what? Look at that with the rocks floating. I need to get more of that dirt though. It's really difficult to create these floating rocks. Let me freaking tell ya. I like the effect though. Huh? I do like the effect. It gives it a... Gives it kind of a windy, mystical look to it. Which I'm totally going for, right? I just need more dirt. I'm going to expand on these smaller areas that don't have enough dirt. I'm going to puff them right out and try and add, bulk it up, bulk the dirt up a little bit so that there's more, there's more surfaces for the light to catch. And then um, I'll probably even have more lighting too shining in from the pillars. Um, I think that's going to be necessary to do too, because I need to, I need as much light shining and it'll probably be high range, low intensity ones just to, just to create a little blue light on areas that aren't being lit right now on the surfaces of the rocks really. And that'll actually make them appear 
And then they'll really look like it's like a, a stream of floating debris, windy, a windy vortex going up into my pinnacle. And I have some dirt up here too, so I'm going to have to look at how to light that up. I might just get rid of the dirt altogether on that section and just have it down below coming up this. I just need more dirt. I need a lot more dirt. I need to really puff this area out with dirt. I didn't realize I was going to need so much, but now because the structure is so large, it, it it really it's really noticeable. I don't have enough. Okay. Well, let's go up here and I'll show you the pinnacle so far. Uh, I haven't really put any deco in, so I don't have my I don't have my jetpack on. Let's see, coming up into it here, it's really dark. Let's go into night light, and you can see it opens up into oh my goodness, complete open. If I move, I die. Uh, <laughs> so complete a hundred percent separation from the pinnacle isn't that nerve-wracking okay okay so now i gotta jump in oh i gotta put my jetpack on that's right jump in and go up Whew, scary okay let's get the night side off okay so here's my living room I changed up where the elevator continues inside because it really sucked coming up the center. I mean, I was going to do like a work around it type thing, but meh. My living room having it come up the center is fine. So there we go. My living room is ready for deco. Probably a little bit more lighting too. This is my kitchen area. So I put in um, a nice tile flooring because it's the kitchen. I got um, some nice ceiling deco there too. I really like that ceiling deco actually, painted the gray. So, so I'm going with that theme. I'll probably do that theme quite a bit in the castle areas too that I don't like the, the shitty textures where I want like uh, where I want it to be ceiling texture like a, a nice ceiling uh, ceiling paper or whatever they call it right and then the standard plain white wall the gyp rock sort of look okay so that's my kitchen area I got to put deco in this is going to be my bathroom so I got some nice bathroom floor tiles in um, again the same sort of uh, paint scheme and everything. Uh, now in here, I plan on doing some special stuff, some custom, I'm gonna make a custom tub and shower. Well, I might not make a custom shower, but I'm definitely gonna make a custom tub. And we'll, we'll see how that works out. I'm gonna really try anyway. Um, I think there should be a nice, I think the, the, the feature of the bathroom should be a large, massive tiled tub, custom tub. So I'm going to do that. And then my bedroom with the carpet, I've got a bed in so far. So at least I got somewhere to crash other than the uh, machine shop. So yeah, uh, there we go. Uh, it's coming together. Uh, every time uh, we log in, more and more is accomplished. Let's take a look at where we're sitting in the way of stats here. It is a size class 40 now. Woof! Jeez, no wonder it's eating up the RAM. Uh, let's take a look, look at the stats. And it takes a while for the stats to load too, because it's like, oh! 
I gotta count everything. God damn it. Okay, uh, so it is 370 meters by 478 meters by 226 meters. So, uh, you know, Canadian football fields are 100 meters. So that's 3.7 football fields by 4.8 football fields by 2.2. So now a meter is just a little longer than a yard. So, so for, for you Americans out there, that would be probably 400 yards. This is 370 meters. That would be about 500 yards. So four football fields by five football fields by two and a half football fields. That's how big my base is right now. Uh, I'm not sure what the triangle count is, but it's up to 201,000. Um, iron, 6,000. Cobalt, almost 3,000. Silicon, up to almost 9,000 now that we're starting to throw windows in. Uh, rock dust, over the top, 73,000. <laughs> Copper, 2,100. Wood planks, of 28,000. And that's going to climb because I still got to do all the texturing. Uh, or not the texturing, but all the paneling that's going to go in and all, the, all that sort of stuff and interior walls and stuff. We're just going to have a lot of wood. Uh, I plan on making the mezzanines on the inside of the Great Hall. The floor is all made out of wood. Uh, I actually, uh, I want to run a wood pillars on the inside of that potentially too. So I want to stay away from the metal look on the inside of that. Uh, plastic is going to skyrocket once I start putting in more deco. Growing plots is... I. I may put in the odd occasional one here and there to put in like an orange tree for deco. Um, but I don't know. I can always put an orange tree in as deco. But the orange tree growing is much larger with oranges on it. So, yeah. There you go, guys. Massive base so far. Uh, but it is, it's really, really coming along. Um, let's drone it up really quick as a closing to the uh, episode and we'll fly out and launch up over the pinnacle looking out over. So it's a little, what is it? Foggy? Foggy. Yeah. Every time I try and show this to you guys, it's either foggy or hailing or night. But you know what? It's coming along. Huh? Huh? Once the... Once that's built, we can get... Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. I had to use concrete for these corner pieces because they don't exist in glass. You can't make construct that in glass. Like, really? At least I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. So I had to do it in concrete, but that's okay. I'm going to texture that like the one in, so that'll be all textured like this and it'll kind of look cool. I think, I think it'll work out. So that all touches there. So there you have it guys. Uh, we're going to leave it here. If you like this episode, please like, and subscribe. Um, next episode, we will continue on. I'm, I'm hoping to have the pinnacle glass area down below all done. I'm going to have all that, that, um, dirt work uh, hopefully done and and this section completed so the pinnacle I want to be constructed um, there won't be any deco in it uh, and I won't be decoing anything else I just need to get the building up now right so okay guys until next time you guys have yourself an awesome day Ciao for now.